Hi, my name is Controls and I'm Pamranchip and we are security researchers at Blockian, top 50 on Immunify and this is Web3's most searched security questions. Question 1. How do you explain what you do to friends or family with no technical background? Good question. Most of the people don't really know about Web3 or bug bounties, so I try to explain the core concepts in high level. Some understand, and some just think I'm blackmailing projects for money. Question 2. Is AI replacing smart contract auditors in 2025? No. While AI is getting wild, it still lacks creativity when it comes to complex issues and sophisticated bugs. Yes, AI can find simple bug patterns, summarize code, and help with understanding of the project, but it still cannot replace a security researcher. The ability to think like an attacker, change vulnerabilities, and find weird edge cases. So for now, AI is just another tool in the security researcher's toolbox. Question three, hardest concept to grasp when you started in security? For me, low level stuff. At first, I avoided anything low level related, but as I started to learn more, I realized the lower you go, the better you become. So the moral of the story is you gotta go low to get high or something like that. Question four, what do you do for fun? Awkward transition, awkward transition. So I kind of like snowboarding, but besides that, I also like climbing, gaming, and of course, hunting for bugs, because yeah, that's also a hobby. Question five, how many hours do you work on average per day? Well, it depends. This isn't a nine to five job, so I get to decide my own hours. If I have an interesting lead or a POC, I can go all day and all night until I submit the bug. But if there's nothing exciting going on, I could work as little as two hours a day. Basically, if you ever see me awake at 4 a.m. starting to code, I'm either onto something big or I'm hallucinating. Question six, how do you choose a project to work on? So I want to maximize the chances of getting something out of the time I put on. There are several factors that matter in my opinion. One, bounty size. That's the incentive after all. Two, code complexity. More complexity equals higher chances of finding a bug. And three, project activity. An active team means the project is still evolving. If all three align, we're in business. Lastly, if there is something to learn from the project, then that's also a good idea. Question 7. What tools do you use, if any? I'm a big fan of manual audits, so I don't use many tools, but a few tools that I found to be helpful are formal verification and fuzzing, great for finding weird bugs and edge cases, and AI. While it's not the best at finding bugs, it can help you summarize the code base and understand the core ideas of the project. But both of those tools are only as good as the understanding of the researcher. So there is no substitute for manual reviews. Question eight, what advice would you give to someone who's just starting out in security? Professionally, every project has a bug. Personally, never give up. Bug hunting takes time and you're gonna fail a lot before you succeed. But once you find that first critical bug, there's no stopping you. So keep learning, take breaks as needed and never give up. And that's all. Now we have to go and work on some POCs. Thanks for watching. We were Blockian and this was Web3 Most Burning Security Questions with Immunify.